Today we're going to learn how not to fall off your toilet seat because it's broken. If you want to learn all about home repairs, then hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Now the toilet looks normal enough, right? I mean, the lid opens fine, and then you open the seat, and uh-oh. Now the first thing I'm going to do is put on this little baby because you never know what's living under there. Now generally, you're just going to want to lift up this plastic cap here. You may need to get a flathead screwdriver to pop it up. And there's a screw right there. And it's just a matter of tightening this screw here and this screw underneath this cap. And occasionally you'll have to actually reach your hands under here, which is why I got plastic glove on, to hold on to the nut. But a lot of times the nut just bottoms out and you're good to go. So this one takes a Phillips head screwdriver and you simply tighten this and you should be good to go. However, on this toilet seat, I can tell that the plastic is broken, which is why this thing's moving around so much. So we have to replace it. So to replace this toilet seat, we're going to get both caps up and remove these standard or these Phillips head screws. And they're plastic and they're all stripped out. Wouldn't you know it? Wonderful. Let's see what we can do here. There we go. So in this case, I just dug into the soft plastic and, and I'm just unscrewing it. And the lug down here makes it so I don't have to put my hands on it. These screws are long. That's what she said. And more screwing on this one. Almost there. Okay, the screws are gone. We can remove this. Yum, look at all that nice stuff down there. And we get the new toilet seat. And it is uh, exactly like the old one. Uh, warning here though, this is a round bowl. This is a round seat. They also make them in elongated, which is a longer bowl. Don't try to put a round seat on an elongated bowl. It won't work. Okay, so, they also give us a couple of, of little self adhesive pads and it's double stick tape basically. So take those, put it on the bottom of that plastic hinge, take the other one, put it on the bottom of that plastic hinge, peel off the other side like so. that and then you can put the new seat down. Just make sure you line them up over the holes. Like that. And like that. And now we can add the screws. Like so. And then screw it all back together. Once these screws start going in, there's a little wing on this nut where you won't have to hold it any longer, but it takes some, some doing. You can certainly use a drill driver for this, but these things are plastic and they will break and strip out very, very easily. So I would caution you on not doing that. Also make sure you're putting the nut the correct way. There's a tapered end that goes upward when you're tightening it down. Don't tighten these screws too tight. Remember they're plastic and will strip out really easily. Just get them snug enough and that's good. When you're done, pop the caps back on and you are free to do your business. See you next time.